Thank you, Johnny. Hi, folks, and welcome. This is Jeopardy! Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Party. Please welcome our contestants. Player oh. one. Yeah. Player two. Ah. Player three. <laughs> and now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Jeopardy round. And today we feature these categories. Let's celebrate. Recently discovered presidential ads. Greek alphabet soup. I need more space. The solar system. And fictional characters. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. Select in the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Lucy gets into an old wardrobe and discovers this magical land. Yes, player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction. That is correct. Please pick again, player one. Snip, Snap, and Snur, who star in a series of books, are brothers from this Scandinavian country. Player one. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Sweden. Player one, you pick again, please. In the grim tale, the twelve dancing princesses, twelve sisters dance so much that they wear out these every night. Here's the correct response. Their shoes. Player one, back to you. This orphan befriends a goat herd named Peter when she's sent to live with her grandfather in the Swiss Alps. It's player one. Right. Good. Back on the plus side. Player one, pick again. In December of 2006, NASA announced that water may have flowed on this planet's surface within the past decade. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Correct. You get to pick again, player one. At KFC, you can lunch on chicken. At KSC, this place, you can lunch with an astronaut. 
Player one? Yeah. That is correct. We return to you, player one. This Mattel doll became an astronaut in 1965, perhaps inspiring the young Sally Ride. Okay, player one. No, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? We're talking about Barbie. Choose again, player one. The patron saint of lovers is honored on this annual holiday. It's player one. That's it. <laughs> Select again. Former U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson founded this annual observance devoted to the environment. Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. Player one, you pick again, please. Customs on this 121st day of the year include dancing around a pole and giving baskets to friends and family. Yes, player one. No. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player two. Right you are. <laughs> you again, player two. Collecting money for UNICEF on this holiday was begun in 1950 by a Philadelphia Sunday School class. Okay, player three. Ooh, sorry. That's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player one. Oh. Any other takers? Player two. That's right. Yeah. Way to go. Please pick again. Player two. Meaning a coming, it's the period before Christmas that begins on the Sunday nearest to November 30th. Yes, player one. Yes, on the plus side again. Player one, back to you. She's the title heroine of Green Gables in a classic 1908 book. Here's what we wanted. Anne. Player one, you pick again, please. In 1980, Hermes, one of these objects, came within 300,000 miles of the Earth. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Oh, good. Player one, back to you for our next selection. She became the advertising global spokeswoman for T-Mobile in 2002. Okay, player three. Oh. No, that's not right. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? It's player two. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Choose again, player two. In this type of testing, electronic equipment is subjected to the real-world conditions in which it'll be used. Yes, player one. Yes. You again, player one. He said a nation half slave and half free can't exist. I say he's wrong. I'm Stephen Douglas, and I approve this message. Player one? Good. <laughs> Player one, back to you. On October 10, 1846, 17 days after the discovery of this planet, its largest moon, Triton, was discovered. It's player three. Yes. <laughs> Select again. These solar discharges, consisting of light, heat, and cosmic rays, may last up to an hour. Player one? Correct. Please pick again, player one. So what if he's the first West Point grad president? Some say he drinks. You decide. I'm Horace Greeley and I approve this message. Here's the response we were looking for. Ulysses S. Grant. You get to pick again, player one. Now available again, Quisp, which has a space alien mascot, is a type of this breakfast food. Okay, player three. You got it. You've got some money again. Player three, pick again. This TV series wasn't about the Swiss Family Robinson, but the Space Family Robinson. Yes, Player One. Hey, you're right. We return to you, Player One. In July of 2005, scientists announced the discovery of Eris, a dwarf planet larger than Pluto, in this belt. Let's hear it, player two. That's correct. <laughs> player two, you pick again, please. This 1956 film was a sci-fi version of The Tempest, Robbie the Robot was inspired by Ariel. It's player two. Nope. Any other takers? Here's the correct response. Forbidden Planet. Choose again, player two. In 1814, this general had a pirate, Jean Lafitte, help him in New Orleans. What's next? I'm John Quincy Adams, and I approved this message. Here's the correct response. Andrew Jackson. Please pick again, player two. Answer, it's the Daily Double. You're in second now, but with an opportunity to catch up a bit. Please select... All right, here's your clue. You elect him? I say in seven months the economy will be in shambles. I'm Al Smith, and I approve this message. Good. We return to you, player two. Alex Hamilton wants him to be president. 
Them's fighting words. I'm Aaron Burr, and I approve this message. We're talking about Thomas Jefferson. Select again. These waves of roughly 7 to 13 hertz are associated with relaxation and creativity in the brain. Okay, player one. No, sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here's what we were looking for. Alpha waves. Player two, back to you for our next selection. 1970's number one hit for Helen Reddy. Let's hear it, player three. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? The correct response is Delta Dawn. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. This Swiss watch company was founded by Louis Brunt in 1848. Here's the correct response. Omega. Player 3 is going first in the double jeopardy round, which starts after this. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Pop on a CD. Airports. 19th century medicine. Catching some Z's. Note the quotation marks. Politicians and title ballet women. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. In 1885, the first successful vaccine for this was tested on a boy who had been bitten by a dog. Player one? Yes. You get to pick again, player one. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Peach Tree Road. Yes, player one. Correct. Oh. Player one, pick again. Denver International has North America's longest commercial one of these, three miles long. It's player three. No. Anyone else? Player one? Yep. Ah! Player one, back to you. Dirty Mind, Controversy, The Love Symbol Album. Let's hear it, player two. Good. <laughs> you again, player two. Rhythm Nation 1814, The Velvet Rope. Yes, player one. You got it. <laughs> Player one, back to you. Thankful. Breakaway. Okay, Player one. That's correct. <laughs> Select again. The writing's on the wall. Survivor. Let's hear it, Player one.
Yeah, good. You again, player one. The invention of the ophthalmoscope in 1851 by Hermann von Helmholtz aided inspection of this body part. Player three? That is correct. Choose again, player three. Answer, the first of the Daily Doubles. Player three, you are currently in last place. You need to select, answer this. In 1865, Joseph Lister began using carbolic acid as this, from the Latin for against putrefaction. No, sorry. We're talking about an antiseptic. You get to pick again, player three. In 1852, George Kamen gave physicians a new version of this instrument, whose name is from the Greek for chest. It's player one. Right. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Each defender guards a section of the playing area in this system of sports defense. Okay, player one. Good for you! <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. This Italian squash can be eaten raw, steamed or grilled, or baked in a sweet bread. Yes, player one. Right. Please pick again, player one. Two-word term for the weightlessness experienced by astronauts in orbit. Player one. Yes. Player one, pick again. Let's get Kelly's assistance on this clue. It's the point on the celestial sphere vertically above a given position. Here's the response we were looking for. The zenith. Player one, you pick again, please. This former senator was the first African-American president of the Harvard Law Review. It's player one. Right you are. You get to pick again, player one. 1949 saw the first ballet version of this operatic Bizet work that features Don Jose and a Toreador. Here's the correct response. Carmen. Please pick again, player one. In 2004, this North Carolinian was almost the vice president-elect. Yes, player one. No, nope. sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player three. Yes. Yeah! Choose again, player three. Before he was New York City mayor, he was the U.S. attorney who prosecuted the mafia in the Pizza Connection case. Here's what we were looking for. Rudolf Giuliani. Select again. We hope Silvestri Reyes can keep secrets. In 2007, he became chair of the House Permanent Select Committee on this.
Okay, player one. No. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Here is what we wanted. Intelligence. Player three, back to you for our next selection. This former Massachusetts governor was CEO of the 2002 Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. The correct response is Mitt Romney. Player three, you pick again, please. At St. Petersburg Clearwater Airport in this state, a plaque marks the 1914 sale of the first air travel ticket. Let's hear it, player two. Aww. You are correct. <laughs> We return to you, player two. This mayor presided over the construction of New York City's first municipal airport. Yes, player one. Right. <laughs> player one, back to you. This German's discovery of x-rays in 1895 had visible effects in diagnosing medical problems. Player three? No. Anyone else? It's player one. Hey, you're right. You again, player one. The Lozi people moved to higher ground during the annual flooding of this African river. Okay, player one. That is correct. Player one, pick again. Answer, the second daily double. And you're in the lead now. Decide on your wager, player one. The clue, a company called BAA operates Southampton, Stansted, and Glasgow. But this is its busiest airport. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, back to you. At this European city's airport, you can have a sandwich and, of course, a coffee at the Café Karen Blixen. Let's hear it, player three. That's it. Choose again, player three. The evil priest Frollo wants Esmeralda, but she's saved by a man named this. Yes, player two. Aww. Nope. Any other takers? Here is what we wanted. Quasimodo. You again, player three. Margot Fontaine dazzled audiences as Princess Aurora in this ballet. We're talking about Sleeping Beauty. Select again. This Kenneth Macmillan ballet intrigues with the curious story of the last of the four daughters of Tsar Nicholas II.
The correct response is Anastasia. And the last clue for $2,000. This Greek gal falls for her stepson Hippolytus in a ballet based on Racine's tragedy. It's player three. That's right, way to go. And you're back into some money. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to Final Jeopardy when we come back. Time to get ready for Final Jeopardy. And today the category is this. 19th century authors. So what's your wager? Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Here's your final Jeopardy clue. In 1833, a French historian said that this author had built a cathedral as solid as the foundations of the other one. What did you say? And that correct response will add... And your response? And this correct response will add how much to your score? Let's see your response. How yeah. much do you add to your total with that correct response? <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You're the winner. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time.